choose you! Hi, I'm Professor Silver, and today I'll break down the history of Ashes Lee Vanny, detailing his transformation from a savage suodle into a mature and responsible powerhouse. As a wild suodle, Lee Vanny debuted in the episode Suodle and Berg in the Pinwheel Forest. Ash wanted to catch him because he was impressed by the fact that the Pokémon had the tenacity to ambush Pikachu. During the skirmish, Suodle landed a kick, used Razor Leaf, fired off String Shot, hit with Bug Bite, and responded to Thunderbolt by swinging away. Later in the episode, after Suodle again attacked Ash, it was revealed that the Pokémon was friends with Castelia gym leader Berg. Berg had bonded with Suodle during his travels, so the man proved invaluable valuable in helping Ash to understand the Pokémon's feelings. Initially, no matter what Ash did, Suodle refused his friendship. When Ash tried to greet Suodle by tapping his head, for example, like what the rest of the gang did, he was rudely tackled. It's strange that Suodle initially distrusted Ash, as the two were alike in almost every way. Most notably, they both loved to eat, sleep, and battle. In order to earn the bug's trust, Ash protected him from wild Woobat, kept him warm at night, and led a rescue effort when Patrat kidnapped him. By the time by the time Ash saved Suodle from a waterfall, he and the bug were the best of friends. They made their union permanent, soon after Berg's Levani replaced Suodle's tattered leaves. Although Suodle then went to Juniper's lab as Ash already had a full team, the Pokémon didn't stay there long. He was swiftly swapped for Pidove so that he and Ash could finally tap Noggins. Like Caterpie, Suodle evolved at a rapid pace. He only appeared two times before evolving. During the episode of Connoisseur's Revenge and his very first comeback, he attacked Burgundy because she suggested that his swarm ability made him inferior to those of his kind with chlorophyll. The gesture showed that despite his capture, he was still a rebellious little devil at heart. During Suodle's final appearance before evolving, he battled Berg's Dwebble in battling for the love of bug types. Although the gym battle got off to a rocky start thanks to Dwebble's usage of Protect, x and Rock Wrecker, eventually Suodle won the showdown as he caught one of Dwebble's rocks, dislodged the Pokémon shell, let off Tackle, and sowed Mayhem with Razor Leaf. His second opponent, Whirlipede, tore through String Shot, landed Steamroller, deflected all of his attacks with Iron Defense, and used Solar Beam. Rather than accept defeat, however, Suodle absorbed the blast and evolved into Swadloon. After doing so, he unveiled Energy Ball and won with Tackle. The two wins left Swadloon too tired to survive Levani's String Shot, Leaf Storm, and Hyper Beam, but his efforts still contributed hugely to Ash's winning of the Insect Badge. Thereafter, Swadloon made many appearances whenever Ash summoned all the Pokémon he had on his person. Unlike when the Pokémon was a Suodle, he looked more like a moody teenager than a happy-go-lucky kid. During his appearances, he feuded with his teammates due to attract an Emolga and the new Volt Switch, got poisoned by Fungus and facing fear with eyes wide open, sewed costumes in Movie Time Zorua and The Legend of the Pokémon Knight, and trained with Silent Stunfisk in The Lonely Dino. Eventually, his teenage stage came to its end in the episode Battling the Leaf Thieves while he was training with Emolga. Upon becoming Levani, he became far more mature, caring, and helpful. As his first act of kindness, for example, he made hoods for Wild Suodle and all the gang's Pokémon. Although one of the hoods caused Axie to be mistaken for Durant food, Levani proved invaluable in his rescue. After the gang followed Durant's trail to a labyrinth-like cave, Levani used String Shot so they could retrace their steps when exiting. Beyond that, he also provided camo to Ash and Scraggy and helped beat several Durant when it came time for the climactic battle. Following the rescue mission, Levani battled gym leader Roxy's poison types in the episodes Rocking the Verbank Gym Part 1 and 2. To beat Roxy's coughing, he lowered its special defense with Energy Ball, gave it the old twirl and whirl with String Shot, and claimed victory with another Energy Ball. Unfortunately, his next opponent, Scolipede, repelled Razor Leaf, poisoned him with Toxic, laid down Rock Tomb, and avenged its ally with Sludge Bomb. After the gym battle, Levani further established himself as a major powerhouse by clobbering Maris's Carablast and jostling for the Junior Cup. At the Unova League, he went one step further and proved himself as a league-level threat by fighting Stefan Sock during the league's third round in the episode Strong Strategy Steals the Show. While Sock started off the battle by bulking up, Levani started with String Shot. After Sock broke free from the resulting cocoon, Ash's Grass Bug type dodged close combat and landed X Scissor. When Sock tried to get his revenge with Karate Chop and Low Sweep, Levani 
put on the pressure with Razor Leaf and Energy Ball. Sock only turned things around after intercepting Excisor, landing Low Sweep, and using Close Combat. The battle pushed Levani harder than he had ever been pushed before, so he then activated Swarm, causing the power of his bug type attacks to skyrocket. Although he missed his first usage of Excisor, giving Sock the time to bulk up, he compensated by wrapping the fighting type within String Shot. Levani then did a bunch of damage with more Excisor attacks, but sadly, the assault also led to his downfall. After Sock manipulated him into cutting his threads, he tanked Razor Leaf and won with Karate Chop. Ash went on to win the match, but then lost to Cameron. Starting in Farewell Unova, setting sail to New Adventure, when Ash set out for the Decalore Islands, Levani made his home at Oak's Lab. Ash only recalled the Pokemon during the saga, so as to help a wild Caterpie reach its final form so that it could reunite with its lost flock. During the episode Butterfree and Me, Levani scared Caterpie while waking it up, but eventually befriended it by making it close. Thereafter, at the end of the saga in The Dream Continues, Levani joined his teammates in blasting off Team Rocket. He didn't appear in XY or Sun and Moon, but made many comebacks and journeys. In Friends, Rivals, Lend Me Your Spirits, he could be seen greeting Ash's Pokemon and relaxing alongside Noctowl and Gliscor. Additionally, during the Masters 8, Levani cheered for Ash, appeared in Pikachu's vision, and celebrated Ash's victory. It was only after Ash won the World Coronation Series that Levani finally rejoined his team as a rotating reserve. During the Aim to be a Pokemon Master Series, Levani watched after a snoozing Rowlet and consoled Psyduck after Pikachu snubbed his hug. The comeback was significant as it showed that no matter how much time had passed, Levani was still a sweetheart full of compassion. As that concludes Levani's history to date, let's get to his battle record. Levani won against Berg's Dwebble, Berg's Whirlipede, Durant, Roxy's Coughing, and Maris's Carablast. He lost to Berg's Levani, Roxy's Scolipede, and Stefan's Sock. Move-wise, Levani used Bug Bite, Energy Ball, Razor Leaf, String Shot, Tackle, and x -Scissor. I'll be honest, I hate Lee Vanny's voice. That said, I love his fighting style and transformation into an adult. In the few appearances that he had, he matured from an energetic baby to a grumpy teenager to a responsible caretaker. His character growth mirrors that of many real-life people, making him a compelling character despite his lack of usage. One of the things I like most about the character is that he's special and that all of his personality changes were positive in nature, making him the complete opposite of characters like Mamoswine and Charizard. On that note, class is adjourned. My name again is Professor Silver, until next time, catch you later.